It's hard to think of an ingredient more important in the kitchen than flour. Without flour, there's no fried chicken, there's no Thanksgiving gravy, and there's no birthday cake. So here's what you need to know about flour. Let's start with flour in its most natural, simplest form, which is whole wheat flour I have here in front of me. Uh, it has a nice tawny color that you can see. It's ground from the whole grain. It, this has the bran as well as the germ. Uh, we use it in a lot of recipes specially formulated for whole wheat flour because it absorbs liquid differently. You can, that said, replace a little bit of the all-purpose flour in a favorite recipe with whole wheat. No more than 50% or you may have textural problems. So next up, of course, all-purpose. And as the name implies, all-purpose does it all, from cakes and cookies to pie dough. We have two options here. If you don't make a lot of bread, you may want to go with Test Kitchen favorite. This is the gold medal. It has a protein content of 10.5%. And basically, more protein means more chew when you're making breads. Now, if you're somebody who bakes some bread and only want to keep one flour on hand, I'd probably go with the other Test Kitchen favorite. This is the King Arthur. Rather than 10.5, it has 11.7% protein content. So it does a little better in those chewy breads. Now, if you're a serious bread baker, you're going to want to keep all-purpose flour as well as a dedicated bread flour because the protein content here is 12.7%, a lot higher than all-purpose. And if you want to make ciabatta or sourdough, you really need bread flour. Finally, cake flour. It's got a much finer texture. We like bleached cake flour because it absorbs liquid a little bit better. Protein content there is just 6 to 8%. Lastly, I want to talk to you about measuring. Now, I know you read a recipe, and we do, our recipes do call for cups, and you think it's fine to use, use a cup. I'm going to tell you nobody here uses cups in the test kitchen. Uh, it's not that accurate. I'm going to explain to you why. Our preferred method is called the dip and sweep. So you dip the cup. I've got too much in here. I then sweep off the excess. Ideally, one cup weighs five ounces. And I only have 4.8. And you're thinking, hey, that's not so bad. The problem is, what if it's two cups of flour, or three cups of flour, or four cups of flour? And now suddenly I'm an ounce short. Or if I was an aggressive dipper, maybe I've got an ounce too much. And the texture of the baked good is totally thrown off. So please, do yourself a favor. Do me a favor. Next time you're making a baked good, put away the measuring cups and get out your scale. Thank you. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.